there might be um, there might be reasons why you might need that like I talked about earlier um, just based on client need so I have this image of this sales guy and um, one of the things the first thing I'm going to actually do is uh, unlock this background layer um, that's just kind of uh, just a workflow thing um, I'll always really do that but the next thing I'll do is um, uh, go under mode and then uh, go into grayscale so grayscale is going to take all of the RGB in this case colors and convert it to uh, just gray so tones of gray here um, now under channels I'm going to click on the channels and see the gray channel. You can see, like, in channels, if this image was CMYK, you would have four channels, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Um, in RGB, you'd have red, green, blue. Um, in this channel, you just have gray, so this makes it easier for a one-color um, uh, job, which is uh, what we're going for with Pantone colors. So I'm just going to click on this gray channel, and down here I'm going to select this option called Load Channel as Selection. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to um, actually select, I'm going to go back to my Layers panel here, and I'm going to go to Image Mode and then go back to CMYK. So now I jump to grayscale, I loaded the gray as a selection, and I jump back to uh, CMYK Color Mode. So now I'm going to go back to Channels, and I am going to um, go down here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go up here. And then uh, in this menu, I'm going to say new uh, spot channel. So a spot color and a Pantone color are basically the two words for the same thing. Okay. So new spot channel is going to open up this option uh, here. And I already have a color. <coughs> excuse me picked um, it's this Pantone 226C so it's like this kind of pink color now I'm seeing here on my image that it's actually selecting um, the reverse of, of what I really want I actually it's actually a negative of him right now so I'm gonna cancel that and what I'm gonna do is um, adjust my selection so under select I'm gonna hit inverse and then I'm going to again go to channels and then do new spot channel and then so here what I'm gonna do is um, select my spot color so this is where I'll select the um, <clears throat> the target red if you will that I'm maybe wanting for this ad or something so I don't even know what targets red is but um, I'll do maybe this color and then hit OK and now I'll hit OK here and you're gonna see he's not really that red but if I turn these layers off I still I'm having one color right now so if I turn another color on it's gonna get kinda close to what it's gonna look like in the end um, but in Photoshop it's still kinda fussy it's not gonna show you like a preview of the actual color but you are going to know that you're in the right place because you have this Pantone um, 199C layer on and the image artwork in the, in the thumbnail visible, all other layers being gone. So with that channel on, I'm going to go over to layers again, jump out of where I was, let me jump to channels again, turn these off. And I'm going to go to File, Save As. Let's see if I can save him on my desktop. Oh, shoot, I lost him. He's not on my desktop. He is in my folder. Okay. There we go. All right, so I have him here. Okay. So I'll go into InDesign then. 
because this is the software that you would actually use to generate a print PDF from or um, uh, a print out of. And, you know, of course, Pantone is the only, print is the only media for that. So under new document, I'm just going to kind of default this because we'll get to InDesign later. I'll select the letter. This should look really familiar to you because that's kind of where Photoshop looks like. Um, I'm going to have my pasteboard here, turn my invisibles off, and then drop my salesman uh, graphic in. And then that, that would be the image that, you know, this, this would be what we would use to send to a printer or something. Um, some of the things to keep in mind is under my swatches here in InDesign, and again, we'll go through InDesign later, but the way I know that this came over properly is I'll see a Pantone 199C swatch in my, in my swatches pa uh, palette. And another test I can do is actually go to this drop down here and then go to select all unused in InDesign and then delete. I can see that all my unused stuff and I can just delete this with Pantone. So you can immediately see that your Pantone color is there. And you can actually replace any colors that inadvertently might have come in in InDesign um, uh, as well. So we'll get more into that too uh, later on. Okay.